Well, good morning and welcome. I'm in Limster. It's the 30th of November, 2023, Thursday. And I'm going to walk from Limster to Webley today. Been dropped off here. It's where I used to work back in 2006. This is the main street through. Been over a 10 mile walk today but and I need to buy a head torch because I haven't come with one. I think I'm gonna need one today. Going into Market Square now. Friday's is market day, isn't it? So this is normally busy. There's a weather spoon, it's been in there several times. It goes right back that. That was the old post office. There are several independent shops. So down there, school lane. Used to work down there to the right. Go over to a glimpse of the church. So this is used quite a lot in the summertime. Big area here. We've got a cafe over there, which is Grange Court. And the Pavilion Cafe also. And behind of it is the church, the priory. And if I can zoom in. Yeah, it's just behind those trees, we can get to see it. But I'm going to head out of Lemster. Make way back to Webley via some random back roads and possibly fields. Just see how we get in. So I don't really have a plan today. I'm just looking on my maps and seeing which direction. Uh, just over there is the college, Earl Mortimer College. So it does have quite a good bit of facilities in Lemster. Community hospital as well, which I've just passed, and the leisure centre is over there. Notable things. Um, you're always seeing this on Bargain Hunt in the antique centre, that's always featured on the telly. It's a shame because uh, one of my favourite ladies on the TV, Christina Trevanian on Bargain Hunt, is forever in Leinster. Shame she's not about. <laughs> That's just me being a perf. <laughs> uh, so I've decided to get off the road here because there's a little footpath sign. Check the maps. I'll come along the stream. There's, <coughs> there's a, a few streams here. No, on the map, Little Arrow, one of the subsidiaries are. <laughs> along here, so I have no clue where I'm going at the moment. We'll just see how it goes on this path. Uh, this leads into a a little settlement called Briley and there's a woodland called Briley Wood which I'm aiming to get into and walk through but uh, we shall see how it goes Hey, <laughs> path appears to be going through this stretch of woodland it's had some ammo, there's not a lot of leaves on these trees above Well, it's off the road anyway. <laughs> Aye. Surprisingly, it's got mild down here in Herefordshire this morning. Um, up north, I believe, there's been some hard frost and even some snow. So, might as well take full advantage of these walks while the weather's all right. There you go, look at these babies. Trotting away. Quite a few. Off they go. Well, if it's a reservoir here, I can't seem to find its name at all on a map. But I do remember this area now, passing years and years ago, I said, oh, there's loads of polytunnels. 
So directly in front of me is obviously a farm with a stack of polytunnels. So the path I'm on is meant to go to this left and round. Sun's coming out now, it's really pleasant. Oh, I'm zooming the wrong way, I do apologise. Aye, lots of polytunnels. Obviously nothing in them by the look of it at the minute. But there's a, it says forest. Warning forest operations, but I believe I've got to walk on this path and then round and to get up into those woods there. Those woods up there, that's what I'm aiming for next. Uh, I expect you get a fair bit of wagon traffic in here but as well. Huge tunnels. I guess there'll be a lot of strawberries growing down here. No doubt. All sorts of other fruit. It's quite a flat area we're on. Well, I'm now on the path at Briley Wood. It's got some steps that go right to the top of here, so I'd be interested to see what sort of views I have. So, yeah, just come along the tree line, along the, the fence in there. There's some deer fences up, naturally, to uh, protect all the scran growing from the deers. So, we'll see what the view's like when we get to the top. This is Briley Wood. You've got a giggle, slippery surface slippery when wet. Well, it's a bit late for that now isn't it? Halfway up here. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to ratch my way to the, the top now. I ain't gone on them, rest of them. Sod that. Uh, no. Hi, there's a few trees felled over here so I'm, I best be careful in this wood. Hell. Yeah. Oh, well, that was a tricky lalan up there. Just had to come up this side here. But I've made it to this stretch. There's obviously some tree felling gone on. And if you pan around here as well. Oh, whew, along there, so I could walk along there. Oh, I don't know if that could be an old path. I might have to try and climb around that to get up there. I think that could be my best bet. I'll check the maps. Well, I've just got to film, because it's quite amusing on the maps. <laughs> this woodland is called... Pervin Wood. <laughs> Pervin. <laughs> the question is, what are we perving on? <laughs> Dear, hope there's no doggers. Now, now. <laughs> that would be rude, wouldn't it? <clears throat> but I've seen the wildlife yet, so... We'll uh, see how we get up. Well, it's opened right up now with a bit of forestry fell, tree felling, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's works going on down there. But as you can see, it's an excellent vista of the Edifice countryside and beyond out into Poise. Very nice. Another excellent view, to be honest, as I'm walking along this path. That is quite a big polytunnel farm. In the distance, the forest, mark my forest in the distance. Oh, I think it is, I'm sure it is, yeah. Where I was in the previous walk. That's a good one. And zoom back out. So, yeah, so here we are. Public bridle way. I'm just following this track now. Um, the um, other tracks are over there from where they've been felling trees, but this is the right one. And I've checked on the maps too. I will go on a kamikaze diversion at some point. Nice, right, so looking on my map. Um, this was some sort of old camp and fort in this area. Right around here, there's a farm behind it there. Aye, I can't see any remains ligging about. Aye, I mean, you can understand because it's quite high up on this hill. So it's a good viewpoint and good shelter as well with the trees. Hmm, 
I'll have to look something else up if I find any more info I shall be putting it on the screen I've been looking for a path I found one um, a public right away there's a couple of private ones and I think I've got to go down here next and head towards that mound there a bit of forestry wood sorry and then just keep walking across at some point Webley's over there somewhere still a few miles to go yet but I better don't make it back in light now I just wanted to film this little bit here because these are I'm not seeing pheasants like this with these markings before absolute beauties I try and hide in the corner there's two of them here they're trying to sneak in the other field yeah they're going in the other field oh well oh there they are Let's see if I can get another sneaky shot of them very pretty there they are, just come over this sty now alright, look at the markings on them beauties, absolutely beautiful I hope they're not going to get shot or run over it wouldn't be a video in Edifice without being in the middle of an orchard yeah <laughs> Edifice's <laughs> finest Still piles of apples on this floor From the harvest Loads of been for cider no doubt It's the same in this field to my left as well Millions of apples I, you could argue whether for Chichada is the best. People from Somerset would probably argue against that, but Herefordshire does have some absolute bees and east ciders. Oh, time's getting on. It's about half past two in the afternoon. I'm at a place called Upper Hill. So I've walked through several fields in the last half or 45 minutes come to this point down here now there's a settlement here and also a gate with some signage on left or right so I'll have a look at my map and see what it says in a minute this looks a real quiet area so many squiddles around but unfortunately they're all grey and we need red squiddles in this country and rid of the the grey ones some excellent views here and I think one is going to have to change his battery very shortly so, furthest in the distance again you can see clear yellow which, which is not you're looking at 20 miles plus from here now from where I'm at stunning time's getting on it's approaching three o'clock now I'm up quite high west up hill and I can still see the sun but there's still a bit of walking to do yet breeze on this top but one thing I've got a good decent view of today are the Mulvans in front of us there now zoom in be nice to have a full walk around those I know I did a couple of years back with the dogs and Cameron it was lovely to do that I definitely would like to do those again not far from here that'll be like an eight to nine mile loop around them as we pan right round the views are just stunning it's got out really really nice it has gone a little bit chilly on the top but I think I'll be heading down after this this is the highest point I would think could be right could be wrong so wandering through West Oak Woods now just following this uh, white trail on the uh, on the markers as we go around the trees are covering some cracking views out this way uh, the Pine King's, King's Pine Cannon Pine area 
but yeah, spot on. As you can see there, there's a the, the wake, the wake where um, there must be some other tracks going up, veering off, they're not marked out. But I'll stick to what the best idea is because we'll be in the last hour of light. As you can tell by the camera, it's gone quite dark. The sun's still there, just in shot there. So I'm approaching Bush Bank now, this farm, and then it'll be just plain sailing all the way back over that way to Webley. So there's the bush in, Bush Bank. That is where I had my 50th birthday meal in there, early on in the year. This is just a beautiful end to the day. Stunning. So, just come out of these woods now. Excellent. So yeah, here we are. Three miles from Webley. Come down from those woods. And here is the bush in. Very nice decorations on the front door. I must admit, it, you know, if you're down here, this short Lemster, um, I could recommend it. The strand was rather nice and the beer was good as well. So I'm going to walk along this road now, three miles to Webley, I'll play it safe, take another hour. Unless I walk quick. Well, as the day draws to a close, <laughs> I've had to just change my battery, and unfortunately, I missed a deer. I've seen it on this uh, the line of the orchard here, where it's carpeted up into that field up top there, into the woods when it's seen us. It's a shame. Right, that's me back, just short of 12 miles. Darkness is about to descend on Webley. See behind me, still blue sky. Uh, what a cracking day. It's a really enjoyable walk. Been to some spots that I've not been to. It was really nice to go somewhere different and get the old legs going again. It's been nice these last few days. It's three big walks. Then you have. One thing I want to do is have a beer. So that's all for now folks and I shall see you when I do another video. And that's goodbye for now.